to show you how to make this Triceratops standee, which you can use at your next event or party. And they are great for tabletops. Um, this one's a little too big to be a centerpiece, but you can also use them uh, on the floor, in front of the stage, on your, at your photo booth, or just around the event, wherever you want. And let's go over to our computer right now so I can show you how to do this. So today I am going to show you how to get this Triceratops and cut him up so that way you can make him into a standee. So once you've uploaded your Triceratops here, you're going to want to resize it and you can do that by pulling on this right here. Or what I like to do is I like to just go up to the height right here and just adjust it. So let's make him 30 inches. Uh, now I'm going to have to zoom out a little so that way he's on the screen. So as you can see, he's going to be very big and it the Cricut won't let me cut it out because there's this triangle thing right here. And what that means is there are pieces within here that are actually bigger than the mat. So I'm going to show you how we take care of that so that way it doesn't, you can still cut it out on the mat. So there are some things first that I, I like to do to a character basically before I start getting into the cutting. Now, this is something that you may want to do or you may not want to do. This is just something that I prefer. There is this black background on him. So if you look, it's, I'm going to ungroup him. There's a background here so I can pull this, excuse me, not that. I can pull this whole black background and I can move it. You see? So he's got a black background. So <clears throat> when we cut out the black cardstock um, or vinyl, whatever you choose to do, um, it's going to actually already have this black. So there's a bunch of these little black things here, like by his mouth and over here and all of these blacks that are unnecessary. It's waste because you already have this here. So I'm going to show you a little trick that I do to get rid of that. And um, we'll just leave that there so that way you can see it. I'm going to zoom in so that way you can see it a little bit better. So on your layers panel, which is on the side right here, you can see where all the blacks are. Do you see how they're, they have the, the colored blacks right here? So... <clears throat> What, what I like to do is I like to get rid of the blacks, but if I get rid of this black, I'm just going to hide it real quick, then there's no dimension there. So like if I got rid of like his, um, like by his, like his other eye, I guess this is the other side right there. And then if I got rid of his eyebrow, then it would be all gone. And then look, he wouldn't look great. So we don't want to actually get rid of it, and I don't want to cut out a piece and waste some extra cardstock because I already have black cardstock right here. So what is great that it can make some kind of like a three-dimensional, what makes it look like more three-dimensional is if we actually, I want to slice this this particular, these particular ones through this actual image, this actual part, not image, but actual part or cut out of my Cricut. So there's this whole thing right here. So that's what it would look like if we cut it out. And then we would have to cut out all these black little pieces and we don't want to do that. So I'm going to show you what is a great thing to do. You, If you just highlight the one that you want and then you hold your shift button and then you highlight the piece that's underneath it so that's where the head is and that's 
this, I guess this little part on his head that makes him look more three-dimensional. And we're gonna hit this slice button right down here. And what that does, you see, notice everything just disappeared. Don't freak out about that. It's still there, it hasn't gone away. It's in your layers panel, so don't freak out. But what you are working on right now is just this one piece right there. So that little piece is what we're working on. So what it did was, it, the Cricut cut this exact same piece through the green layer, the green color part of his head. And you see it, it made like a little hole there. So there's a slice there, it's cut. And that will make him look more three-dimensional. Now, since we did that, we actually don't need these pieces. Otherwise, when you go to make it, it's going to make these pieces. So what I do is I just highlight them both and you can just press that one and then the shift and then you can delete it. Now, if you're wanting to maybe possibly keep the black because you actually want to put black on top of this layer, you don't have to get rid of it because once you delete it, it's completely gone. You could just hide it by doing that and it will, it won't make in your Cricut. You just hide it. So what you have to do is you have to go through every single one of your blacks, which I told you is still there. So they're there. You just, if you arrange this to the back, you'll notice that they're there. Oops. There we go. Arrange to back. And as you can see, they're all still there. So this arranging it to the back is just putting it all the way in the very back. And so what I'm gonna do is go through each individual one and I'm going to cut or slice as it would be by grabbing this one and then grabbing the green layer and slicing it and going up to the top and then deleting this and hiding this layer. So now I can do that for every single one. I'm just going to bring this to the back to just show you again what I'm going to do so that way you can see it. Now this is the this is the cut that I'm working on. I'll change it to a different color so you can see. Right? And now I'm going to hold that one. I've selected it because it's grayed out and then I'm going to select the other one. That's his head or the top part of his head. I'm not sure exactly what that part is called. And then I'm going to press the slice button. Everything else, don't worry about that. It all disappears. I'm going to select this and I'm going to delete it and I'm going to hide this. Okay. So now if there's any other black areas that we would need to uh, do, we can get rid of. So this one cut. So I guess we're done with his head. As you can see, there's nothing there. And if I move this back here, you'll see that he'll come out to looking exactly like he had those black lines anyway. So that's a way to save on paper, a way to save on vinyl, a way to save time. You don't need to do that. Now, this part right here is not on his head, but it's on his mouth. And um, I'm gonna actually do a couple of things because um, I actually, oh, I missed one, sorry. There's one on his head right there. So we're gonna get rid of that. Shift and there and then slice him. There's his eyebrow. So let's get rid of that and let's hide that, okay? Don't worry about that triangle right now. We're not worried about that. We're not gonna get into, I'm just gonna arrange it to the back to make sure I didn't miss any blacks and I didn't. Not gonna worry about that. But if you look here, if I focus and we look here on his trunk part of his nose area, there's this black one that we're going to definitely get rid of. So let's find that in the layers panel. And it's right here. And you'll know that it's that color. You can make sure that you're selecting the white one, right one. I just change it to like a color that's not within my character. So like if I just change it to yellow, 
then you can see, yeah, that's the right piece that I want to cut out and I want to make sure works. And I need to find this other um, color, which is right here. And that actually happens to be right below the two. So I want to shift and select the two. So remember, I'm selecting this one and I'm holding on the shift button and then I'm going to select the other one. And that's how you select the two. And then I'm going to slice it right there. When I slice it, they all go up to the top. That's just automatic. So if there's anything behind there, it's still there, but it's behind there. It's just a cricket thing, it, just their design. So don't worry, I'm changing that black back to black, but I'm gonna hide it. And hiding it, I don't know if you know, it's just by pushing this eye right there. So now I wanna make sure I believe that he had little nostrils and stuff, which is, I believe, right here. But I'm going to just make sure I can just send him to the pack. And there they are. They popped up. And they are right here. So I was correct. So they are actually brown. But I think that they would be fine if they were black. I don't believe that it would make any much of a difference. This is just a preference that... that I think just from, you know, doing some, you know, characters for a while, it's just something that I just kind of went with. That's another way to kind of save on paper, or save on vinyl is if you think it'll be okay, it's okay. But if you don't like it, then one of the best things that you can do is to just not delete it. So I'm going to shift that one and I'm going to slice, shift this one and slice it. So there they are. I'm actually going to keep the black and get rid of this uh, tannish, light color, tannish color. And then I'm gonna hide my black. I'm gonna continue to go on and do the same thing for the others. Shift, slice. Now, later on when you have gotten to be master this whole slicing thing I can show you a trick and I'll show it to you guys um, later on in another video that um, what you can do to get rid of these a lot faster so than doing them individually so that's but we'll do it individually so that way you get the hang of it and you can practice and it's not something that's more advanced so I'm gonna send this guy all the way to the back and as you can see, he has no other black pieces or pieces that I think that or pieces that need to be cut out from within the, the dinosaur triceratops himself. And when I put the black layer behind, he looks fabulous. So now that he's all done, what I like to do is um, one of the, the, the things that you should do is you should save because he'll, you know, um, with Cricut, you never know if, oops, if it's going to, your internet's going to mess up or if something that you're going to do is just, it's going to mess it up. So it's not like saved into the cloud. So I would just save it so that way you, all the work that you did won't go away. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to, because as you can see right here, there are some layers that will not cut out on the mat. So like if I press to make it, it's going to say the project is incompatible. So I need to fix it or I need to resize it. So if I were to select the entire thing, I think he's not grouped because we took out these blacks. But if I were to group him and if I were to make him a different size, those uh, those you see these triangles they'll disappear but look at how tiny he's gonna be he's gonna go all the way down I still the triangle still hasn't disappeared and he's probably gonna be as tiny as there you go I think 11 around 11 inches so that's just like really really tiny so that's not what we want to do so I'm gonna just undo it because I want to get him back to our big size here. And that was 30 inches. So he's going to be 30 inches tall and almost 30 inches wide. So 
Now let's fix these triangles so that way we can we can make him. Okay. What you want to do is you want to grab a shape, and I usually just grab a square, and we're going to need to resize this so that way this can fit on our mat, which is. Um, now, if you're using vinyl, you can go as much as like 24, but if you're using cardstock, which is what I'm gonna show you how to do in cardstock, then the biggest that you can make it is an 11.4 by 11.4. So we're gonna resize that. And once you press it on one, because this is locked here, it'll go to the next, but you just have to press somewhere else. And you see, it's a perfect square. So now that I have this, I'm gonna actually change it to a color that's not within my dinosaur. So I actually have black within my dinosaur. So let's change that to what well, we were using yellow. So let's use yellow again. You can change it to any color. When you start practicing this and you getting you get more advanced, you won't need to change the color. It's just so that way you can follow along and you can understand and it'll be easier for you when I first started slicing it was really confusing so I want to make sure that you understand it so we're gonna need a bunch of these so let's duplicate them these are just pieces that we're gonna use to what we want to do is we want to essentially cover our triceratops so I'm going to put all of these squares and line them up so that way it covers the entire dinosaur. All you're doing is just placing them on top. I'm gonna need a few more pieces here, so I'm just gonna duplicate it. And let's see, I will need, okay. Now, do you see, can you see how they're all, they're not like lined up? You see this, this one is not lined up with this one. Do you see, like if I change the color of this to blue, can you see that this, if I changed it to red, do you see how this is, let me zoom in a little bit more. You can zoom in a lot, but do you see how they're not lined up? Okay. So I want to get them to line up. So I'm going to change it back to the yellow so that way I don't confuse you. I just wanted to show you. And I am going to try to get all of these boxes or squares, I should say, lined up so that way it's, it's going to work easier for you. So all you have to do is just click on them individually. And you go up to this align tool up here at the top. And you can align to the top or you can align to the bottom. You can also align left and horizontally and vertically and things like that. But just, just for simplicity, I'm gonna align it to the bottom. Once you press that align button, Cricut seems to group them together. So you can move them easily without actually having to go to the layers panel and group it. Because when you group it, then you have to ungroup it when you're wanting to do something. So this is a perfect time to move this around. And we wanna make sure that we cover all of the dinosaur, the entire dinosaur. So there, if I go right here, you can see that this part of the dinosaur is actually not covered. So we wanna make sure that the entire dinosaur is covered. So I'm trying to play around with it and it doesn't look like I'm gonna get away with two mats. So I need to add another one there and I'll do that now so that way I will have enough to cover the dinosaur essentially I don't want to see it but I also want to keep in mind that I want to save material I want to save vinyl I want to save cardstock and I, since I added a new square I am going to align to the bottom and now I have three so I want to go all the way up to the top and cover the head there I'm going to do the same thing with the next layer I am going to align to the bottom and then I'm going to place him to cover it okay and then I'm going to do the final third layer 
I'm going to go up here and align it to the bottom. And I've got all my squares. Perfect. I'm going to arrange that to the front. So this part right here, I'm going to use this right here and cover it. Okay, so now if I zoom out, you can see that you can't see any part of my dinosaur. Yay, goal accomplished. All right, now let's pull this dinosaur in front of my entire thing. Uh, well, actually, I didn't group my dinosaur, so I can't do that. So I'm going to pull all these behind. Let me group this real quick. Hang on a second, bear with me. Don't get lost. Uh, let me just do something real quick. And then I can unhide this. Okay. So now as you can see, the dinosaur is in front. Okay. And I group these and I gonna ungroup them there okay oh, he went back to the back let's bring him back to the front there we go okay so now you see the dinosaur but you can also see the your mats behind these squares as I, I will call them this represents each mat that you were going to be needing to use now we have a bunch of different layers on the dinosaur we want to focus on the layers that have this triangles here because those are the ones that are going to prevent me from making it okay so on and then i have this big black layer that we also need to cut as well so i'm gonna just go through individually and get rid of all of this parts but because we have so we have different colors the different layers I'm gonna focus on the black layer first. So this black layer right here of the dinosaur is preventing me from cutting it. The one of the layers that's preventing me from cutting it. So I want to slice this guy up into different mats so that way I can cut him. So the first thing that you're going to need to do, it's very similar to what we did with the, the black um, and within the green, is you're going to select the square and you're going to hold down your shift button and you're going to select the black part of the triceratops. And then you're going to select slice. Now, you see these, there's there should be a few cuts and they're always going to be at the top. What you want to do is it cut this piece right here and I'll show it to you in orange. Do you see it cut this piece out? So it cut it out of the mat. So it made another piece exactly like that from the yellow and it gave me all of this extra pieces and that extra pieces I'll just show it to you in um, let's go with red. So do you see this is a separate piece? And then underneath it, there, there's this yellow piece. And I'll move it to the front so that way I can move it. And that's what it did. It literally just sliced through. So I have these two pieces. Now, this, this piece did not, was not preventing me from, like, cutting it on the mat it was the entire dinosaur so what I'm doing is I'm basically making a puzzle out of the dinosaur so but I when we have these pieces when it does that it gives me two of these pieces you see identical and then it gives me the leftover of the mat but I only need one of these pieces and then I don't need the extra so all of this right here is trash so you can select them either by doing what I just did, by grabbing it and selecting it, or you can go to your layers panel and select it that way. Shift and then press delete. You don't need it. Now this piece right here is the, orange, the only different color piece that you have on your layers panel. So if you look, it's the only orange piece. And I changed it to orange because I know that there was no orange. So <clears throat> I'm going to hide it. I'm gonna hide it right now so that way you can see that it's not 
gonna be a part of this black anymore. So if you see that my black piece is right here, if you look, it's got like a piece cut out. So I'm going to get this one and I'm going to hide it. And you just hide it by clicking this eyeball again. So now I have to do that essentially for this entire dinosaur. So let's do one more so that way I can show you. I'm gonna start, just go from the top here. And I've selected it. And then I'm going to hit the other black here and I'm going to slice it. So you see, I got this extra layer here and I'll change it to red again. And then I will change this. I'm gonna leave that actually yellow. So the piece that I want is a black piece. If you see the black right here, it cut it out. But look, it gave me two of the other ones, right? So we don't need them. So if I were to pull them to the front or just move them to the side now, oops, excuse me. I have to move them to the front to move them. You can see that it's the exact duplicate. This orange piece is an exact duplicate and we don't need it. So we're gonna just get rid of them. Okay, and then I'm going to hide this black piece. Um, we can, I'm gonna keep it black. And this one here, I'll change back to black as well so that way you don't get confused when it's all done. And then we're just gonna hide it there. So now I have this piece right here and I'm going to cut it, slice it. I guess the proper word here, slice it right here. And we're gonna get the same results. You see right here, these two yellows, we're going to delete. And we're gonna keep the black. So we're gonna hide the black. And look, we're getting through the dinosaur really quickly. Select another square. And so you can select it here on, on your uh, screen, your design space or you can select it in the layer panel. I like to select it in the layer panel. Um, the only thing is I have to find which square it is. Like I'd have to go through each one. So sometimes if I can reach it, I won't. Like if I can select it here, then I won't. I'll just go to the layers panel and do it. And then if I can't do it, like I'll, I'll, I'll try to find a way to do it on the canvas instead. Okay, so I'm just going through and I'm just doing the exact same thing. It's repetition. I know that I have a square behind here, so I wanna find that within my layer panel. And there it is. It was just a lucky hit that I got it on the very first one, but sometimes you have to go through each one to see that. I'm gonna slice it again and get rid of the yellow. Look at this yellow piece right here. You can barely even see it, but we don't need it. And then I wanna get to this. I can't select it. So I need to find that square. Maybe it's this one, and it is. And I'm going to select this and slice it. Get rid of it again and hide it. Look, at, we're almost done with this dinosaur. So we have three more pieces. I'm looking at this going, hmm. I wonder if I can save and try to get them on two, but I don't think I can. Nope, I can't. So nothing, that's not gonna help. We'll just select it and select it and slice it. Okay, and then you're gonna hide it again. You don't wanna hide this one. Now you see that the triangle disappeared? It was literally just there. So I'm gonna undo so that way you can see that it was there. Do you see? It's right there. This particular piece, when I cut it off, now you see it's not there. And the reason why it's not there is because Cricut is saying that this piece is big enough to print on that 
mat that's the 12 by 24. So cardstock is not sold in 12 by 24, but you can get vinyl on a roll. So if you're gonna do vinyl, then you wouldn't be doing on the 11 by four or 11.4 um, actual square, you would be doing something else. So I'm showing you how to do the, the cardstock way. So you wanna select that piece and this piece and slice it. Now, I have another square here. Oh, let's hide this so that way you can see. I have another square here, but it's unnecessary for me to slice it from here because what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna get the exact same piece right here. So if you watch, look, you see, they're the exact same piece. It's not necessary to do that. And when I first started slicing, I did that. It was, it's ridiculous. You don't need to do it. Um, and the reason why is because if you select this, this actual cut on the layers panel, do you see? It's within your mat size. It's below 11.4, you know, you're good. You don't need to make a puzzle piece out of this, okay? So let's just move this to the side because we will need it for the other layers. And I'm going to unhide all of the black pieces that we had just hidden. So you just have to go in and unhide them all. Not difficult. Okay, now I wanna select them all. So I'm gonna hold down my shift key and I'm gonna select them all. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to group them, okay? Now, if you look, there are no triangles here. So I can use this, I would let me make it. There is no problems. And I'm going to arrange it to the back because we're done with it for now. Now, I have another piece here. You see this one right here that has a triangle. So I am going to make duplicates of my square, my mat. And I'm going to place it over the piece that is not allowing me to cut on Cricut, which is this one here. And I'll arrange, let me change it, actually change the color of it so you can see. There you go. That's the entire piece that I need to cover. I, there we go. I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did with the black. And I'll show you again. We wanna cover all the pieces. So all the pieces will be covered. And I need one more piece. Do you see? And I liked it in the back so that way I could see the entire dinosaur. And I'm gonna arrange that one to the back. Okay, now you see that I'm like, I was fiddling with this one right here. And that's because I can see, do you see where it's gonna cut is the, the square, the line, the blue line. If I zoom in more, you can see that if it were to cut, it's gonna cut a very not so great cut. You see this tiny little piece right here I don't know if you know if you can see it it's very hard to see but you see the blue line is after that piece so it's gonna literally cut this piece and you're gonna have this little triangle my dinosaur kind of moved this whole triangle and it's not a very good cut and you'll learn why when we go through it but I want to make sure that this is not like we want to make sure that it's in a good spot. Like if I were to put it right here, it's not in a good spot because it's so close to this one and it's cutting this off. You want to make sure that your square now is put in a good spot. And why I wasn't so technical in the black one, you'll see in a little bit. But was, I'm going to be very technical when I'm coming to the, the body part of the triceratops. So I'm going to grab this one. 
And let's look at this one here. Okay, good. It cleared this little thing here. Because if I had it a little lower, it would have cut a weird cut like this. Do you see? It would be weird. So let's not have that. Let's make it line up with the other one. And I'm going to shift and shift. And I'm going to align. This time I'm going to align to the top because I'd rather it go up than down. So I'm going to align to the top. Now th the blue line is completely, they're completely lined up together. And I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom. I am going to align it. I'm going to overlap my square just a little bit. And there's another square somewhere. There it is. So I am going to arrange that to the front because I can't move it around. And I'm going to do my best to align it with the other one. And the only way for me to do that is to shift and select the other one and then align it. I will align it to the top. There we go. So now they're both there and I am going to select the orange and arrange that to the front and as you can see there's not going to be any weird cuts on this square here so we're all good now what we need to do is we need to actually slice it so I'm going to take this square and I'm going to hold the shift and I'm going to select the orange because I changed it to orange <laughs> orange part of the triceratops and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Get rid of this yellow and hide the orange. And here's another square. I actually want to go across and not all over because this would be like diagonal. And then uh, some of them won't line up. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to just stay on the same line. And that's how you can get these perfect, nice lines that can be hidden easily. Okay, and get rid of this yellow hide the orange and I have another yellow square that I want to slice up and I'm going to get rid of the yellow and I have one more piece but kind of like the black one actually exactly like the black one I don't need to cut this last piece because it's within my mat layering my mat widths are allowable widths I'm going to select all of the orange pieces and group them together. This time we can change it back to the green because it's not a big deal. We're not even going to make him in green at the end, but that's just the color that he's on here. Now I have another piece and I believe it's this piece right here. And it, I am because if you look right here, 13 by 21 inches, it's too big. It's not going to work on the mat. So I need to do the exact same thing. I'm going to get a mat and duplicate it. And this time I'm actually going to advance you and show that hmm, we're not going to even need another mat for this. And I'll show you why, because even though that piece is a part of it, and let me pull that in the front, which is the last triangle that we need to cut. And I will change it to red so that way you can see him. So this part of the, the dinosaur we need to still cut. But I'm actually going to leave this part right here. And I'll show you in a minute. Now, it would be great if I could get... But I can't. I would love to get it all on, but I can't. So I'm not going to stress about it. Let's cut this one by holding the shift, slicing it away. Get rid of the yellow. Hide the red. Select the next red piece, and the next yellow piece. Now let's hide, I mean, delete the yellows and we don't, we can hide this red. And then why I didn't make another one was because I knew that it was gonna be smaller. Oh, excuse me, it was gonna be smaller. So I will unhide this reds here 
And I'm going to select the shift button and select all the reds together and group them up and change them back to green. Now we've done a lot, so I'm going to save this because we've done a lot so far. And I don't want to lose any of the work that we just worked on, so we'll be just safe to save it. Okay, so now he is all sliced up. If you looked, there are no yellow triangles preventing me from making it. There's just a few things that I want to do before we move forward. Is What I want to do is sometimes when you get um, different <sighs> images or things like that, they're not necessarily all the same color. So I want his blues to be the same color. So I'm going to select them and I'm going to group them. When I group them, I can see that it's the same color. If they were a different color, like let's change this one here to maybe, I don't know, let's just have fun and change it to like a light blue. When I group them together, there'll be this question mark right here. That means that these two are different colors. You can see that they're different colors because I selected them to be obviously different, but sometimes they're just slightly off, but we want them to be the same color. So if you group them, and then you select the color that you want, then you'll be fine. Then you know that these two will group. I don't want to attach them, which means that they will cut in this exact spot because it doesn't make any sense for me to do. Um, so it's not gonna help me. I wanna save as much material as I can. Now I'm gonna go through the whites and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna select them. And I believe they're all the same color, but I'm just going through to show you something that you could do to, to save you some time in the end. I think I missed his horns, actually. Yep, so I missed a few more whites, which is way down here. And I'm just going to group them all together. And it's okay that they're grouped like that. It's not a big deal. Okay, they're all grouped together. And I'm going to, and it is, you see, it's white. So we don't need to worry about that. Now I'm gonna save that again. And we're just about getting ready to cut them on our mat. So now that he's all saved and he's all good, I'm going to press make it. And when you press make it, it's going to arrange all of them according to color. Now, sometimes what happens, and we'll see if that happens here, when you slice things up, Cricut will put them on different mats, even though like this piece could possibly fit with this piece. It's just a function that they have that is can be annoying instead of it being helpful, where they can actually, if they, if they arranged it all together, then it would be great. But... It's just a function that it has. So if you take your pieces and you move them around, and I didn't even really show you how to do that, but if you watched, if you were watching, then you did. But if you just grab a piece here and you go up to these three dots, you can either move the object or hide the object. If I wanted to move the object to try to save space, so that way I don't have to cut so much cardstock, I would wanna move it to one that I think it would fit on. So I'm gonna try and move it to this one here. And it just places it in the exact same spot that it was on the other mat. You need to then move it around and make sure that it fits. You wanna make sure that there are no overlaps. You can zoom in here as well if you have trouble seeing it from afar. And I have one more piece that I would love if I can get on another mat to save material. So I'm gonna try my hardest and cross my fingers that it will fit together on this mat here. And it looks like it will. Now, I could spend a lot of time trying to get them onto like different, I guess is different mats um, to save more paper, but I don't think that I'm gonna do that. I'm just going to have it I guess for you and that's enough okay so now I'm gonna go through each one and try to do that 
We'll see, look, this one actually put it on top of there. I'm not sure why it did that. So I'm gonna just bring it and see if I can save. And we're gonna do this essentially to every single matte piece. Now, if you have no problem and you don't wanna save material and you don't wanna go through this process, you can skip it. It can take up some time, but in the end, it'll save you some money. So, I am trying and crossing my fingers that I can get this one and this one together because that would be so much better. And I am very sad to say that it doesn't look like oh 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 wait i take it back yay we got it okay so now all of these pieces can fit you can zoom in to double check this piece is this piece here is not going to hit this piece here we're good to go yay we just saved on paper so now look at the way that cricket did this one it made it go outside and then they see it was just it's just like a glitch of some sort so that's what you're going to want to do to each each mat and then once you're done getting them all situated then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit continue so I'm going to arrange all these pieces here and then I'm going to cut them all out and we will reconvene. Okay, so do you see all these little black parts right here? You can't tell that they're cut out of this brown piece right here. So that was that part that I had shown you where if you cut it out, you save some of that paper or if you're using vinyl, you can save vinyl. And it actually makes it look really 3D-ish, you see? We cut them all out and I think he looks great. So the one great thing that I absolutely love about these standees is the fact that they stand completely on their own. But another great thing is that they are easy to set up and um, transport because they transport flat. So he is flat and then he is now standing. Anybody can do it. Okay, so now that you know how to make this Triceratops standy, you can take those skills that we just showed you how to do on the Cricut and you can make that cool dinosaur egg or this awesome four feet tall T-Rex as well. If you want to learn more on how to make these standees, you can subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button and we will show you how to make more awesome standees for your next event. We have some great videos that are going to be coming up. So we'll see you at our next video. Thanks.